for all the other Australian athletes that are going to run the 10 counts on Saturday night. That it's an opportunity to get a spot in the team before Christmas. So not easy to do, obviously. You've got to come in the first, well, you've got to be the first Australian or the first one of the first three over the line representing Australia uh, under the A standard, 27.45. So certainly hard to do, but it's, we've got a good opportunity. Athletics Victoria have done a great job in getting some really high quality athletes out here and, and encouraging the best Australian athletes to come here and run as well to, to do our best to try to get as close to that A standard as we can so that we can book a spot in the team uh, and take the pressure off in that regard and then that allows us to focus on, on training and, and putting our best foot forward so that come London in, in July, August next year we're in the best possible shape as opposed to chasing times all year. So I think that's one of the beautiful things about the Zatapec is it comes early on the program in the Australian summer and it gives the Australian athletes the best opportunity to qualify. And, and for me, I'm going to do my best to try to get the A on, on Saturday. Whether or not I consider running it in London is something I'll decide later on. But for me, it's, it's the first of a couple of opportunities over the summer here in Australia to, to run well and, and to, to put a mark on the board. Um, in an altitude house at, at uh, the AIS, how's that gone? How you it, was, uh, it was something I'd never done before. You know, you've, you've read about these studies that they do and, and apparently the live high train low is the the most effective method to increase haemoglobin levels, that sort of thing. And you know, we'd heard that the Altitude House was at the AIS and we were wondering why uh, distance athletes hadn't really been staying there. And, you know, we've had sprinters there and water polo teams and that sort of thing. So we sort of started asking a few questions as to whether we could get in there. And uh, I know Collis has generally gone to Falls Creek that time of year and I think he was a bit sick of going up there. So um, Yusuf, Collis and myself went into the Altitude House and got some really good training done. We were there for three weeks. Um, You've got the benefit of being able to train at sea level, so you can get some good intensity you know, in your sessions. So I think it's gone quite well, and we had a few blood tests along the way which showed some, some good improvements. So hopefully that translates to a fast time on Saturday night. Yeah, it's good. It's going really well. I, I spent uh, three weeks up at Falls Creek before the state championships that we had here um, two weeks ago. Um, so I came down on the, on the Wednesday and raced on the Thursday here, um, and that went OK. It was, it was hard. But um, often those events are hard when you've just come back from a big block of training. But I needed this, the blowout, I suppose you, you could call it. But I've done a couple of sessions on the track since then that have gone pretty well. Um, so I'm, I'm fit and I'm healthy, which is, which is always good. And, and it's, um, it's been a change for me, I suppose, over the last couple of years. But I'm looking forward to getting back out on, on the Saturday night and, and racing in a high-quality field and, and getting in with you know, half a dozen other blokes that want to get get the same out of the race that I do and that's a good hard race and, and try to run a fast time here in Australia. Yeah, I think the 10 is going to be my focus for London. Um, so Saturday night would be, you know, as Craig says, it'd be great to wrap that, wrap that up, have yourself in the team before Christmas and really being able to focus on what you need to do to be running well in August. Um, but I will also try to qualify for the 5K. Um, the 10K is up first on the 4th of August. It's a straight final. It's a, an evening race all things that I, I like and I seem to run well. Um, and then if I, if I make the five as well, anything that happens there is just a bonus. So, yeah, the ten's my focus for this season. And uh, the 10,000 the 10, metres is your main event? Yeah, I'm favourite for 10,000 10, metres on the track and also on the road. But on the track, I'm favourite for 10,000 metres. But you also uh, have a good speed at 5,000 metres and I think in New York two years ago you out sprinted Bernard Legat at the end of the 5,000 metres to beat him. Yeah, sure. Uh, when we, I competed with uh, Bernard Legat uh, in New York City, uh, it was a favourite time for me to beat Legat, uh, someone who likes sprinting, sprinter, running 1,500 metres and come for 5,000 to When we came to spring, I sprint when win the race and I didn't believe I beat Bernard Lagat and it was a good start for me that year. Your 26.51 in Brussels this year was your very first 10k. Did you expect to run that fast? No, I never expected to run such a time though I was a little bit confident due to my training I've been doing there Kenya because we have been doing a very nice training with my colleagues, for example, Mika Kogu. I knew when we train with somebody who is strong, uh, fortunately, I love to emerge to be strong too. 
again for the last years I've been doing road race running so in track it was my first time so I had to do more more work uh, like training hard for casting track as you know in track it needs a lot of speed somebody who has experience for me I've been doing less less uh, inside of speedwell because road, road running is a little bit different with track.